still yeah. waiting on. Perfect. One guy left, and then we'll we'll start the briefing again. Everyone yell out. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Squan Ops tonight. We are running Operation Nightmare. My name is Barton, and I am being joined today by the new streamer, Tedish. Say hello, Tedish. Hey guys, how's it how's it going? Excited and to be to here. Right. should be fun. So as you can see, there is only one and tonight uh, we are running Operation Nightmare. So Operation Nightmare is a relatively new operation. We've only run it a few times in the past. Uh, how it works? There's a lot that goes on with this operation. So uh, we have our little game tactic here to try to help describe uh, what's going on. So the two teams involved are going to be the United States and the insurgents. The insurgents are going to start at a cache anywhere west of the uh, Echo Foxtrot line. So anywhere along here, they'll have a cache that spawns that they're going to pick. They'll drop a fob on it, and then that's going to be the central point that they are trying to defend. The U.S., who starts at their main down here, is going to try and infiltrate into the insurgent area and find where that fob is and take it out. Or their job is to find and kill the command, the HVT for INS. So if the United States successfully takes out that FOB or successfully kills the command, their operation will be successful and their then job is to exfiltrate to this point here marked uh, that keypad five grid square. So once they get back there, then they're going just to defend that area where the, then the insurgents are going to try and attack them at their position. If command goes down and the U.S. does not notice, then the insurgents will then make an announcement after two minutes of the command being down that the command is down, that the HVT is down, and that the U.S. should now exfil. So on our, on our teams today, on the U.S. side, we've got command as best pony. Squad Leader 1 is going to be Benbot. Squad, squad Leader 2 is Truth Realm. Squad Leader 3 is ODTAP. And Squad Leader 4 is Silas. What do you have over there for teams there, Ted? Yeah, and on the uh, INS side, we got XBit in command. And Squad 1, Shadow Ritual. Squad 2, Classic Big Yes. Uh, squad 3 is going to be Classic uh, Krusty Sailor. And then 4 is uh, Merrick. Uh, looks like we got a nice, uh, I got a quick peek into their, uh, brief and, uh, it could be an interesting op because <clears throat> you notice on that, uh, the map, there's a bit, the line north, south and the fob that they've chosen, the cache that they've chosen happens to be pretty much exactly on that line. So it could be quick. Um, and they're also going to be KG and they're sending a squad. I believe I heard they're sending it to the northeast. Um, try to get behind the U.S. and hit him in the back once um, contact starts. Should be should be interesting. Most certainly, nice especially because the the intel marker for it is actually just to the right, just the east side of that Echo Fox red line. So there's been some debate I overheard early on of whether or not that cache is what side it's going to be on. Because if, it's, if it ended up falling on the west side, which it did, then that is, of course, where a good spot would be. But if it was to the east, then they shouldn't have to check that area. So there's a lot of debate amongst the squad members and the squad leads of should of checking that out and how to approach into that area. Hmm. It would be interesting if they just went all the way around it uh, without taking contact at all. That'd be pretty hilarious, I would say. But uh, we'll see. Looks like we're live in just over a minute here. Yeah, looks like we got who's this uh going north shadow ritual going north for the ins potentially and then uh yeah it looks like merrick might be pushing off to the east i'm assuming they're probably going to leave one squad home and uh one interesting thing that i'm not sure was mentioned is that the commander is the only one that is allowed and has to use the G3. So it's a very distinctive audio signature whenever they fire. So that's uh, one way the US can know if they uh, 
you know, find him and kill him. Kill that G3. That is correct. And vehicles wise, I believe, so the US is limited to one transport truck only, and the INS is allowed to scavenge for technicals, and that's, that's it. Alright, and we're live. So right now we see on US side that they've filled up that transport truck, they're going to be bringing that into the town, and it looks like about two squads are going to be on foot pushing into into the city. I've got a mass exodus on the INS side. We got one squad going south, two squads going northeast. They have to start up their start too, so we can rush. I think I heard a motorcycle taking off too. Yep. Roger, fourth pushing east towards that big compound. Do you want to stay? Yeah, these guys are spreading out, taking it straight to the U.S. Which is going to be interesting because I'll bet they're probably not expecting to take contact until you know they cross that line. No, most certainly not. Yeah, it looks like this transport's going to run into uh, Krusty's squad here. So seeing there, if they take out that transport, that is going to be a Let's huge ready. loss for them. Oh, they, they just heard the transport coming in. Which road's he going to go down? He's probably going to miss them. I hope he's going down the other road. Krusty's about to get run over. Oh, man, this is... Oh, oh, oh! Brutal. Oh, that caught them by One, surprise. Two, three, four. That's half a squad. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I'm I'm betting that they had they didn't think that there'd be anything in this middle city because this caught them by completely by surprise. I heard over command comms they were questioning how they were taking contact. Uh, so complete surprise, not expecting to have any sort of enemy infantry in that area. One, two, three, four, five, right, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I see on, ten KAs for the US. One, maybe one or two for the insurgents there. Got this group holed up in the mosque. Uh, I'm taking contact contact the yeah, the squad one, I heard that they, they got hit hard. Uh, trying to figure out there's probably maybe only three or four of them left I had anyone that was left got up and pulled fast they were just trying to get out of there that was a huge hit yeah that was brutal let's see if the US can recover from that what do we got left down here it's just two holdouts in this uh, mosque area ouch Husband, can he survive? Kilo Lightning right next to him. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh that was that was vicious right there. Kilo, you're a monster. Yeah, and uh, everyone in that transport's dead. Uh, that's that was what about a third of the team? A third of the team right there. Ouch, for maybe two. I just heard uh, the U.S. command say that that cache must be in Echo 6 or Echo 7 due to the amount of contact here. Well, that's some uh, nice deductive reasoning there. Well, where is the uh, exact spot of it? The exact, exact cache is... Let's see if I can remember. Where were they? Pretty much right on... Uh, where'd it go? Down here somewhere. It was more or less right in the dead center of town. Yeah. We're looking at Echo Foxtrot 6 line right between them. Right where Merrick uh, I got, is. I got yeah. contact pushing real close to Best Pony, the US command. Oh and I think he's unaware of how he's the closest man right now to this four, three, four man element. Yeah, sometimes Silver man. Um, oh! Surrounded. 360. Gets dropped by, I believe Sham took him out. Light contact here with the... Uh, is Hamlet leading a squad over there? Hamlet is not. 
No. Nice little standoff here. Not a lot of action. We have taken zero casualties. Yeah, yeah, we're kind of just walking through here. Krusty, I've got eyes on U.S. forces in our position on that ridge line. Copy that. Looks like we got the, uh... They're in camp on that, uh, ridge Who is line. this? Crazy Russian? No, Shadow Ritual Squad coming up behind the entire remainder of the U.S. team. Looks like they know... Yeah, they definitely know that... Each other are there at this point. Hey, we got contact behind my position. Please. Level doing business with that saw. Takes out one or two. Ooh, grenade to a corpse. Insult to injury there. So pretty much we got all the U.S. corralled in this uh, northeast hills. Some of you might be asking, uh, where's Muff? You know, he's a normal commentator. And uh, word on the street is he got into a fight with either a bear or a puma. And uh, in standard puma fashion, they, you know, went straight for the ear boxing and uh, blew out one of his eardrums. So that's, uh, that's why we're here. I hope we can fill his shoes. That's our hard shoes to fill. I'm not 100% sure. Give me a second. Did our command die? All right, looks like the U.S. is more or less stalled here. Is our command down? Uh, command, this is squad one. Uh, level just called out saying that they're going to engage from behind. I see that there's that squad that went around to the northeast uh, to flank them. Actually wiped out quite a few people in level squad. Looks like there's still one, two, three, four, possibly a fifth that are still alive to the east of where all the U.S. is held up. And it looks like Level's piecing out there. Had enough of that. Getting the, getting the hell out. Joining up with the rest of the squad. Oh man, the U.S. is advancing straight into a net here. We got a little hard point the U.S. has made up, and then just walking straight into the uh, expanded net. You're going to go into oh, the and get surrounded. Oh, I see it now. I see it all forming. INS is forming all around him. And I just heard over comms that there is no original squad leader still alive. And command Ooh. just went down. So it's all second or third in commands. And uh, also the backup commander is now in. Well, that would explain why uh, why they're stalled. I know how t that, that can be a tough situation. All of a sudden, you are the commander and you're trying to squad lead. Or you're the 2IC of a squad, and then suddenly you're the commander of the whole shebang. Uh, it's a lot. Suddenly you got 14 people Seven. asking for directions. Um, yeah, stressful. Do we have any idea who that might be at this point? It is Silas. Silas has uh, picked up the picked up the reins and is going to try and and stop the bleeding and hopefully bring them to, to victory. Because all they really need to do is take out that command. And then they they will have completed their objective. But right now in numbers, I mean, it looks like there's two, maybe three times uh, the size. Uh, INS has three times the amount of size the U.S. does. And that command, uh, that HVT target, XBIT, is, uh, well, he's, uh, he's laid out on his mattress right now. He's, uh... He's just chilling, maybe having some tea in his little house here. Nice queen size mattress. Right, I got Jay Remick sneaking up behind uh, Thanks, one of the remaining squads here on US. He's right behind them. He's very, very cautiously working his way up. Gotta be cautious here. Contacts, F6, Hamlet moving F6, across, taking shots. Dub shooting back. He's just running. He's like, screw this. I'm gonna hug myself, put some bandages on. He doesn't know that he's got a whole squad coming at him. What is he rocking there? Throwing a grenade. Oh, if he arcs this right. Oh, just short. Just short.
Don't pick Contact up, don't pick up, don't pick up. I'm starting to see now that if U.S. keeps going that way, they they will have a little bit of a clearing to push their way out. I don't think they'll be able to get to that cache, though, but at least they'll get some distance and get some ground and maybe take a breather and get away from that flanking force that's coming up to their east. Yeah, they are moving really well, I must say. For a squad, for you know, a team that has no command, you know, a original command left, they're they're moving really well Fox under six, constant six, contact. Jay Remick comes up behind them. Looks like I mean they've got three sixty. I see uh Michael Vincent covering their rear. Yeah. They're on the roofs, on the roofs of this compound. We are. About to come up on Remick here. Ooh, they're twenty feet apart and they don't know it. Michael knows. Michael knows. Jean Michel Vincent. He hears Remick. Alright, guys, we should probably start moving towards that comp. <laughs> Got backup from Hill Cosby. Oh, the name's Gamer Snake. <laughs> uh, looks like that Ooh. other three guys that was with Jay Remick, they're still staying up in the hills. I don't know if they're pushing more to the south and gonna try and cut them off more, or. They're trying to get an overview. Oh, they are way, way back there, yeah. What was that? Crazy Russian, Darman, and Phil the Blank. Another witty, witty gamer name. Key one and two. Enemy contact. Squad Good communication all over on the INS. Chat, uh, guys are constantly chattering, letting people know what's going on. We are eight up. The U.S. is, yeah. Grouped together really nicely. Spacing could use. Well, it's not too bad actually. Looks like they just lost another one. Hamley making feet on the far flank. Now it's the uh, insurgents who are getting encircled here. The adventures of Hamley. Alright, copy this. Let's do uh, Hammer Cam. Three, go ahead and. Move towards each other and pinch box seven key. The seven. Oh, oh, the they hear him. Footsteps on the cash. My guy has audio. Oh, and he's he's bugging out. Say again, command. Too much. It's too deep. Too alone. Couldn't handle the pressure. He probably. Let's start moving here, guys. We're going to be working with. Yeah, he would have run into Krusty right there. That would have been uh, yeah. probably the end of Hamley. Fall back to the squad. Regroup. Figure out what's up. What's up with this uh, red smoke in the middle of the town? The, wow, they're uh, they're causing a cancer storm here. They're smoking up the whole street. Um, I don't know what they're doing with that. That because I don't really see them crossing it. Oh, now they go. All right, so that was cover trying to get them yep. to cross the street quickly. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys. That's a full squad, full squad. but more <laughs> more or less eighty percent of the team. Yeah, they just uh, they just called out. They saw all that smoke. Yeah. It's probably smelled all the smoke. Chinese. Making a push for the cache. Doesn't look like the U.S. know where it is yet. They're sweeping the southern compound. They are still doing very well for the little numbers that they have. The INS could could have really pinched them off very quickly and kept that pressure up. And while Chandik Pan fell apart, communication fell apart, and when they're in that pinch, INS had a good opportunity just to keep attacking, but they didn't. Allowed US to yeah, they, group together. They let the pressure off for sure. These four guys in the back, crazy Russian to Zabari over there. They're uh, kind of leaving the pressure off, and the US are taking advantage of it. Whether or not they, you know, they did it on purpose or not, but they're moving with a with a purpose. And uh, the second floors maybe it's gonna make some make some noise here soon. Who's that? Zeno just went down here. Close contact with Digit and Xbit. They're real close to that HVT right now. Real close, within 10 feet. Oh yeah, I see that now. Yep, and they were trying to push up that way until uh, one of the U.S. went through that doorway and got dropped by Digit. That Ooh. immediately stopped that push forward. Sham, oh my, Sham and Expert are about to come face to face. Well, maybe not quite. Kilo is doing some weird calisthenics here with the roof. Ooh, oh, crazy. Sham just went down.
Expert exchange and fire. That G3. Everyone knows where the command is now, roughly. Arkvos. Arkavos. Closest to the man, doesn't know it. Digit holding that corner. Yeah, I believe it's just that Archivist and Hamlet now that are remaining in that in that squad. They were the first ones to kind of push out all down here, and all their men got eliminated. Oh, is Expert right next to... Oh, no, he's in that building. I thought Expert had stepped out into the alley. That would be a bold move. I'm surprised he isn't moving further north. I mean, he is the HBT. I, I would get uh, into the center of, you know, your your guys. Yeah, I would have picked up and went on. up in the hills. Yeah, just to overwatch it all and get away from all the contact, especially when you know that uh, there's been shots all around you. Ooh. Close. Hamlet senses it. Spider sense going off. Oh, those guys just round their pants. Gaming generator and CeeLo. Bandaging themselves. Hand and bandaging. If it comes, we're dead. I love you, bro. Oh, they just uh, profess their love for each other, expecting that they're going to die. <laughs> this is the last moments. I love you, bro. I love you, too. Touching. Here, just cover me. That's teamwork right there. Do we still have command? Hamley just holding that corner. <clears throat> uh, squad two, are you yeah, get rid of some of these fireflies. Harder's right, we go. towards you. All right, we're currently moving up onto the compound. You still got Digit not allowing Hamley and Archivist to push up on that east side. Oh, and as I say that, Digit starts. To walk away and ignoring that east entrance. Understood. Like Hamley, well, bringing up the rest of the team. What's this U.S. team doing back here? Thank you so much. I took like two bullets to the back. Got a the southern side of town. Six, uh, six U.S. guys just hanging out. Hill Cosby, Jean Michel, Vincent, Chinese spy, Ego. Uh, oh, looks like Hamlet and Ark are pulling up on the way. They had no idea the opportunity that they just had to take out the INS command and pull on the the Operation Victory, so to speak, for U.S. Yeah, it's interesting, like how how this game's. Got a nice little 360 here. Oh, Hamlet goes down. Who was that? That's silly buttons. One tap. Let's start sweeping the compound. Archivist bandaging himself here. So close to the command. Right, so close. And this this little cadre of six. I feel like the US at one point they knew. They they kind of sensed. They're like, well, this is clearly where it's gotta be. But now these guys are uh kind of tactically retreating here. Leaving this little buddy pair of level Joel and the uh, I guess they got a trio. Fend, fend for themselves. Oh, never three, I want you to stop pushing from the south. Is three really the only one up? That squad up in the hills for the uh, insurgents right now, finally coming down. Up with big yes coming down. It's gonna be nice. 
Nice quiet run up there. Command currently investigating an audible on their transport. U.S. just, yeah. or INS just called in uh, audible on a transport. Um, Is it still running? Probably. I think it's still running, but yep. it's not. They can't it's, get in it. It's still running, I? but uh, nothing oh. happening since the beginning of the game. Yeah, they they'd be able to hop in it. It looks like it's not blown up. I thought they had uh, blew it up with an RPG before, but. I don't know what utility it'd serve U.S. at this point. That's funny. They called a uh, contact on the transport when no one was there, and now suddenly that little uh, six-pack moving right in on Crazy Russian. We got level Joe and Archivist trying to push that same doorway as before, and Digit's right back on it. So this is, if they just break through there, Digit's going to have another field day going for him. Oh, Archivist went down, got shot through a murder hole. Oh, wow. He just walked by and someone from inside the compound shot him through the murder hole. Looks like Did is going to push out, too. That frag by Russian was so close. Wounded, uh, Jan Michel Vuitton. I wonder if he's actually French or if I'm just, uh, butchering the hell out of that. Level coming back. Looks like we got some contact around the command here. Close ish. Just Joe. Is he GI Joe or is he just Joe? Oh. Joe's taking rounds. Panic firing. Still one out there. Copy, we're not touching it. They just calling out yeah. three or four infantry yeah, just south of them. He keeps peeking over the door. They're back to back. Back to back. Two. Looks like they're moving towards you. So where is this guy at? I got no Copy. His name on him. He just came through this. He could get real lucky. Snap a pop, a shot on Xbit right there. That's all he's got to do. End the game right there, Joe. You're so close. You're so close, buddy. Oh, it's gone. Opportunity's gone. Oh, and it's back. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, yep. Nope. <laughs> nope. Right, it was close. Sorry, wow, he's uh, a caution of the wind. Joe is out. Trophy Brave Sir Robin ran away. Not the Bravely Did ran away, still. away. Meanwhile, on the south end of town. How's the uh, command structure going on over there? Uh. I have not heard on comms in a very long time. Yeah, it's been I'm... pretty quiet on this side too. Mostly just local. I believe that most of the second and third ICs uh, within the squads have gone down at this point, so they they just can't communicate with each other regardless. There's no one that has the radio anymore, so to speak. Well, I mean, they're all pretty much bunched up here. Joe is in a great position to take a few kills here if he, uh, oh. out. Yeah, more, you're coming up. Yeah, the remaining U.S. is so stacked up together, too, that one little nade could have just wiped them all out. And actually, a crazy Russian, when he entered the compound, he got two. Uh, there's three more there to drop him down, though. G.I. Yeah, Joe drops one. Drops two. Good show, Joe. See if Ram reacts to that M4 fire. These guys are wide open to each other. Is that guy up? Take as many as you can. That's US. Oh, oh Ram just threw a. Oh, he overshot it. That was close. What? That was really Ram close. Ram in the yeah. Moss Tower sees him, lobbed a grenade, but overthrew it. Oh, he's and... throwing another. He's throwing another. 
it. Be advised, I'm the oh. If he would have been there just a minute or two earlier, back when they are all bunched up in that compound and saw him and lobbed the nade, he would have wiped out all of the entire remaining U.S. team oh. except for Joe. Thus ends Joe. Oh. The saga of Joe. That many people. And so I believe ramp. we're down to just level and scaly, right? Oh, I see. Oh, just, oh, Skelly. just level. <laughs> is the last man standing right here? I believe it is. Oh, really? I'm the last guy standing? Can he do it? Can he clutch versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Poor level. I heard Nine, him call out 11, in 12. in local. Announcing where some 14. contact was. Oh, looks like we got Frank and Wook and uh, Schnapps coming in. Schnapps should have just seen him, but he missed it. I was thinking about getting in this transport well, and just leaving. He knows he's the last <laughs> one. He's like, uh, Screw Big Yes is peeking now. Oh, oh, he just got past Big Yes's field of view. The INS still think he's in that compound where all that action happened. Throwing random. Oh, he's grenades. running right past our man. Oh, oh, that is Whoa. a fatal mistake level. Oh. 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 He survived. Oh. He's hit. Level He's turns hit. around. Oh. That's it. Down. Yeah. Oh, an action packed first round. Yeah. Quick action packed first round. Normally these games can uh, 15, 20 minutes before anyone sees each other. This well, one was a uh, good much quarter of the team. Could, could ask yeah. for. Yeah. Good quarter of the team got scores. dropped right away. Who, uh, who, let's see, level with four kills, Joe with. Three, Skelly two, Hamlet with two, and on the INS, uh, CeeLo with four, Krusty with a five pack, Shelbs and Jay Remick with three each. Yeah, Sidingo's. Oh no, that's Krusty's. Uh, yeah, Krusty's squad did quite well. Uh, they were the one that ambushed the uh, transport right off the bat, so that's where most of those kills came from. But a nice show on both sides. Good off. I'm sure everyone had a lot of fun there. Unless you were probably the first one to die, in which case, very surprising. Surprising uh, beginning and end to your op. Yeah, for sure. Oh, the U.S. was not expecting there to be any insurgents in that town when they went rolling through it, which kind of, that was the, the fatal flaw that led to this outcome. Yeah, you've got to expect. You've got to expect it. As soon as that's live, you've got to think they could spawn as close to you as possible, and they could be moving towards you. you got to... Gotta be ready for that, or else, well, Congrats on what happened, man, happens. Yes, That's exactly good. right. Well, that's the end of round one. Uh, we'll have a second round coming up shortly, but first, we're going to have a little five-minute break. So if you get up, go to the bathroom, get a drink of water, now is the time to do so while uh, we get ready for round two.